And something I'll talk about in the book as well is we never had sex. We were married for three years and my body just like could not have sex. My body was like, you will not enter. My body just was like, Shh, shut down, just like, like it couldn't, nothing could enter. You got used for 1,095 days daily. Oh. <laughs> From a juvenile with my clothes have Okay, what, this is the ad that they have at the beginning of their video. So that was the teaser. And holes in them, and my afro was picky. To them nighties, Moschino and Versace. No laces. Wait, they're, what are they doing? They're, they're, they're promoting clothes? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well. I'm here with Smile Tijana. How you doing, mate? Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal. You want some? I'll give you. Let me know, inshallah. Well, you know, some people want some. They get it. And some people want some and they get nothing. They don't. No. They, they don't. Okay, no. so this is this here was a violation. Emotional damage. Oh. Yes. Okay. This maybe explains why Nas Daily, the failure uh, of his people. And but the before, he before is. you even get into Nas Daily, mm. for the people that don't know Nas Daily, Nas so, Daily is somebody who is... A traitor. Yeah, well, he's born in Palestine. However, he has been used as a pawn by the Israelis to whitewash their crimes. In fact, he has whitewashed the crime so much and let the side down that you have ADL. You have that uh, lobby group of uh, Israel. Not, like e not ADL. No, no, no. This is ADL. Are, these are ADL and mm -hmm. they gave him a, an award oh. for... <laughs> you know, when Israel is giving you an award, mm. you know something's not right You've there. You've become the scum of the scum. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people... You're the, if Israelis are giving you an award, you're, you're basically the scum of the scum, according to Ali Daba. Okay, so so far these are just non arguments, but okay, he let's see. Despise that guy and he claims to be Muslim, doesn't know about Islam, marries a Mormon. But uh, what, what became of that relationship? Ali? I don't know, but I'm there, curious. There, there must be something that must have frustrated him as a man that he must have certain desires that could not be fulfilled that caused him to take his frustration out in different ways by backstabbing his people. Are you talking what about dessert? Be? No, I'm talking about desires. Aha, uh -huh. ah, tastes better than dessert. Okay, in a halal way, of course. Come on. So this is what. So just remember the points he's making. He says that maybe the reason why Nas Daily is betraying his people, meaning Palestinians and Muslim, is because he had certain desires that were not being fulfilled at home, and he 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 became so frustrated that he had to express that by betraying his people. So that's the argument be, that being made here. Okay, so desires let's write that down because i don't know let's see why he's saying that his wife had to say or should we say his ex-wife let's let's well, see. be precise let's let's see hi my name is aline and i am divorced i grew up got married and hoped for the happy ending but sadly after three years of trying our hardest it didn't work out and we ended up divorcing after one year something happened and it was like a big breaking point then we stayed married two more years and then he just i don't know i don't know what happened after those two years we've been together three years and it just happened. And something I'll talk about in the book as well is we never had sex. We were married for three years and my body just like could not have sex. I think because of being religious for so long. That's so And like the shame and weird things associated. And it happens to a lot of religious women mm -hmm. that when they get married, it's like, oh, your whole life, you're like shameful, shameful, cover your body, shame, shame, oh, wait, shame. You're so, wait, sorry, I just realized you're supposed to have sex when you get married. Yeah, but we, I couldn't. You're your, supposed to have sex. It was your choice to not have sex? Or it wasn't a choice. You? My body was like, you will not enter. My body just was like, Ch shut down, just like, like it couldn't, nothing could enter. The logical okay, thing. So that's why he broke up with you. No, that's not why. <laughs> that's not why. No, that's not why. That's Bro, that's not why. definitely why he broke up with you. No, it's not. He could have done it after one year. He could. No, no. I, I know him. I know him. He did not because of that. I promise you. Three years, you would do it after six months. For a woman's body, you need to be relaxed. Yes. You need to be relaxed. Yes. yes. And when you are raised with all these negative messages around sex, and like cover your body, cover your chest, and cover you your just shoulders. And watch to be scared of sex, kind of. Yeah, it happens to a lot of women. It happens to a lot of a lot of Orthodox Jewish women. There's such a shame around sex. Shame, shame, shame. Like you're a whore if you have sex. You're a bad person. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so then you get married one day, and now you're supposed to be go from the virgin to the sexy person. And my body just couldn't. It was very weird. It was very weird because I am also a 
Like, I'm a sexual person. Like, what she said was not nice. Not nice. So, I mean, this is an absolute utter humiliation. I mean, as a man, you know, you, you feel emasculated. You feel, you feel feminine. You feel like a woman. I mean, imagine you are married to a woman. And for three years, I mean, we need to... My math is you good. You can't even say you, no, no, we need you, to. you feel like a woman because even women, you know, they have desires and oh, they yeah. meet their desires. When but when they, they married, married to a real man, that is. Uh -huh. So that's 1,095 days of not intimacy that's some quick maths that's quick maths 1095 days guys just imagine that for 1095 I days i don't imagine that. i mean you can't you know this person had no intimacy and let me be honest we understand you know a bit of woman's psychology here and there uh, that woman did not love you my friend that woman had no attraction to you whatsoever i don't know what she was with you for maybe the money maybe the fame maybe whatever it is or maybe, maybe you know because mossad told her to oh yep definitely 100 percent. there is no surprises there let me tell you something because for her to say because it gets worse she said she had it gets no, worse than that oh Bro, it gets worse. You know why? I'm just going to play it all the way through and then I'm going to get back and respond to all of this. But I, just, I also please mention your comments. Alfred is highlighting your comments. I want to see how you guys are responding to this as well and then I will have my response to all of this. After. Imagine you was with a woman for that long. Yeah. She did not have any intimacy with you. She gave you nothing. And then after you broke up, she went and got something. Oh. Do you know what that shows you? That shows you that you are a coward. You are, you're not even a man. You're not only getting used by Israel, you're getting used by oh. women as well. Bro, that was deep. I think the video needs to end there. Oof, that, that hurt me. I feel the pain, yeah? You are a coward. I'm doing this video, you know why? Because I want to hit a nerve, bro. I wish I can see you in person, bro. Well, I hope, I make dua, that I come face to face with you, yeah? You're an emasculated coward. You've backstabbed your people. Not only that, you was married to a woman. I think she might be Jewish, by the way. Not like uh, ethnic, ethnically Jewish. This is unbelievable, She claims yeah? to be a Mormon, though. Do yeah, that's religiously, yeah? But ethnically, she might be Jewish, uh -huh. uh, yeah? So the point is this here. Let me tell you something. I won't be surprised if Mossad paid her and said, listen, keep this guy busy. He's a little miskin, fool, clown. Yeah, what a joke, yeah? Backs up his people. Bro, someone who doesn't stand up for his own people will, will fall for anything. And they probably said to her, you know, just keep him busy. Yeah, and guess what? Because for that woman to not give him any intimacy... And for him to still be with her as well, rather than years, leaving her. For three years. And then afterwards, you leave her, or she leaves you, or she's probably happy to give you... The, she, she probably uses as a tool, you left, and then she goes, and what does she admit she said she is not a virgin anymore meaning she went and she said boyfriends so and then she she checks sure. out she didn't give it to her husband and she got it from boyfriends I mean, for a man, I don't know that is what is more painful than knowing that you was emasculated. I'm this surprised level. he was Oof. with her for more than a day or nay, <sighs> even a week. Bro, I'm surprised she stayed with him of a man like this. Well, like, what a coward he is. And let me tell you something, Nas, Nas daily. You got used for 1095 days daily. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was natural. That came from the heart. That came from the heart. That's I why. Felt it. I felt that, it. That's why he has those days in there. Yeah. That's why he has the days. You're a coward, man. I hope this video burns you. Yes. Just the way you turned your back on your people. I hope this burns you. I hope it hits a nerve. That's exactly why I've done it. Inshallah. Yeah. You are a scumbag. You are a dirt. That's what you are. Let me tell you something. You're an intellectual coward as well. Yes. She used you. Israel is using you. You're gonna carry on being used. You have no legs to stand on, and you're going to go down in history as a sh shameful person if you don't repent and change your ways. Allah is always merciful. And just like you turned your back on Palestine your ex turned uh, her back your on your ex turned her back on you but turned Israel will turn its back on you as well yes that's all we have to say brothers and sisters till next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us real men uh, that uh, our wives do not um, reject us to that level alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum okay okay let's let's go back to this m here and respond to where he, she started the interview, okay? But before I start playing this and responding to this, I just want to ask you, <laughs> I just want to ask you, think about this, like throughout this whole, everything that they're playing, did you notice any point that you showed, because the whole point of this video is to expose Nas Daily and humiliate him. I actually have found new, more respect because I liked Nas Daily because of some of the video he makes. But also, I, ever since I realized that he is an Israeli Muslim who supports Israel, I started liking him even more, right? But that's just because of his, you know, political views that I liked him. I didn't know personally he was such a decent person because... This video, uh, because when I started watching this video, I was like, okay, maybe Nas Daily did something wrong, but that's not relevant. You could be personally, you could do something that is wrong, but your political views is something that I could still support. I'm not going to connect these two. But now, because of this video that they made, I actually have 
a new <laughs> deep respect for Nas Daily for his personal morals as well. Because notice how they didn't point to anything that he did wrong. So let's let me break this down for you. And also, I want you to I want you to notice how backwards Islamic morality is. Look how the st- look at the standards of masculinity and manhood and what it means to be a real man is Islamically and see how opposite of, of what we decent people think, you know, these standards should be Islam is. So let's look at the standard because guys, by the way, let's, let me be clear because I don't want anybody to misunderstand me. I think masculinity is good, right? We don't want to go full wokey here and be, anti-masculinity okay there is such a thing as bad masculinity which islam is promoting and we all see it here but there's also good masculinity okay masculinity could be good and masculinity could be toxic and this is a fantastic example of how masculinity can be toxic so let's watch this together again guys when i say toxic masculinity please don't think that i'm dismissing masculinity as a whole because of the toxic masculinity that these people have, they see this as a point of humiliation. Basically, the whole point is Nas Daily is respecting these this woman's choices, this his, his wife's choices. She has been harmed mentally by religion, so she has a psychological issue with sex because of the harm because of the damage that Mormonism has done to her brain, right? And Nas Daily uh, understands that, respects that. He doesn't force himself on her and stays with her because relationship is not just about sex for three years without sex with her because obviously he picked her for more reasons other than sex and doesn't even leave her even though they're not having sex but the, instead of appreciating that, instead of celebrating that, that what a decent person, right? Like that is still with her and supporting her, even without any any sexual interaction between them, that he's still with her after all these years. Instead of celebrating this person as a decent human being, they are they see this as humiliation. What what is he supposed to do? Leave her, like abandon her just because he's not having sex? Or what it, or or what oh I understand. He's supposed to go the Islamic way. He's supposed to not accept no as an answer and just force him, him himself on her. Is that what you want? Because remember, it's Islam that teaches you that no is not the right answer when your husband wants sex. Even if you don't like it, that's not the point. Your husband likes it. We have hadiths for this. Actually, maybe I should pull up the hadiths to show you why they're saying, why they see this as embarrassing. So they're trying to embarrass the man. See, this is, this is morality is when it's Islamic, when it's based on masculinity and manliness. And, oh, wow, you're not getting sex for three years. <laughs> Humiliation. What are you talking about? He should be proud of himself for being not like you guys. That's not a measurement oh, of a real man. I don't care what your definition of a real man is. I have a definition for a decent human being. He's a decent human being for not making his entire relationship about sex, for respecting his wife's choices. And also, this is, you're trying to embarrass Nas daily, but all you're doing is embarrassing religion because the reason why they didn't have sex is not because he's not a real man. The reason why they weren't having sex is because religion fucked up her brains, fucked up her relationship with sex, with a healthy sexual lifestyle. That, that's what ha- she admits it. She's like, I got fucked up by Mormonism. That's what she's. So this is not this is not a point against Nas Daily. This is a point against religion. So f- thank you for exposing how unhealthy religion is when it comes to sexuality one and how extra unhealthy and disgusting your islamic ideology is 
when your moral standards and your judgment is so backwards. Anybody, anybody that is that their brain has not been rotten by Islam, when they when they watch this video, I'm like, what what is why is this a point against Nas Daily? He he didn't do anything wrong. 